folks. Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. It's late July in Pennsylvania and that means we are harvesting crops like crazy. Someday I'll find been a huge success this year. I mean, we've gotten tons of food out of it. We've kept up with the weeding and the watering and the fertilizing. The place where I'm struggling is with preserving all of it. I am going to say like maybe next year I don't need 10 cucumber plants for maybe enough. <laughs> maybe not a hundred tomato plants maybe 50. <laughs> okay, I think actually I sold enough that I was down to 50 plants, so maybe 25 is the right number. My point is um, the preservation has been hard to keep up with. I've done some pickles, I've canned some potatoes, and now I'm going to make some sauce. This is actually day two of this video. That's how much I'm struggling to preserve things. It's early. Everybody's still asleep and I need to get these tomatoes cooked down, made into sauce, that I can just leave them simmer because I promised to take the kids to the pool this afternoon. And I need to get my squeezo thing. What's it actually called? Food strainer. Yes, that's the thing out of the car. It has been swelteringly hot here for about a week, probably like most of the country. Fortunately, we are getting some relief overnight, which I think has been really good for the plants and for the animals. Although the goats are still just laying down there hanging out. They don't really mind the heat that much. As long as they've got water, they don't care. They will lay in the sun on a 100 degree day. Let's not have tomatoes splash all over the wall here. This is the first year that I have successfully grown Genovese tomatoes, and that is primarily what is gonna be in this sauce with a couple mortgage lifters and a couple uh, generic kind of sauce slicing hybrids. So I'll be sure to label what tomatoes went in here so that we can decide which flavor profiles we like. Taking my stems out of here and the rest can go right in.
that tastes so good just squeezed like I could drink this as juice oh my gosh so good so sweet definitely no sugar added to this let's go get some basil though Please remember that you never let a recipe tell you how much garlic to use. You measure garlic with your heart. We'll need to simmer for a couple hours and I mostly got it done before everybody was up. Bridget's still asleep and everybody else just kind of got up as I got it onto the stove and seasoned. And now it's time to give the scraps to the chickens. Far, you obviously find something about me amusing so make sure you are subscribed so you can see more times where I have overcommitted myself whether with plants animals children craft projects or really anything it's who I am deep down in my core it's right next to where I decide how much garlic to put in a recipe thanks for watching